Hello everyone! I am back once again to do another VHS review. This is, this is the series where I take VHSs, I watch them with you guys, give my thoughts and comments on them, and then at the end I tell you whether or not they're worth buying. For this episode of VHS Reviews, we are going to be reviewing a Bob the Builder VHS, Bob the Builder, Trailer Travis, and other stories. My God! Bob the Builder has been a huge, huge part of my childhood. I loved Bob the Builder as a kid, and still do to this day. It's, it's got some great characters, great animation, amazing voice acting. It's just really good. Now, now, now some of you might be wondering... Am I doing a Bob, this Bob the Builder VHS review to coincide with Neil Morrissey's The Voice of Bob's birthday, which was yesterday, as of when I'm recording this video? Well, the answer to that question is yes and no. No, because I was planning a Bob to do a Bob the Builder VHS around this time anyway, and yes, because it just so happens to be around the time of, of Neil Morrissey's birthday, so it's um, so it's it's just a, a matter of huge luck and coincidence that I'm doing this VHS review around the time of Neil Morrissey's birthday. So yes, so yes and no, I is the answer to that question. Am I doing this to coincide with Neil Morrissey's birthday? Yes and no, but anyway. What do I think of the of the new Bob the Builder series in 2015? I get why a lot of people hate it, because it took a cartoon world and made it realistic, which was which was which is deviating a lot from the source material. But when I first watched the the 2015 Bob the Builder, I didn't mind it at first. And I and I quite like the Mega Machines film that, w that was made in 2017. I've watched that and I quite like it. But then, but then after the um, after Mega Machines aired, I had high hope. After Mega Machines came out, I had high hopes for the future of the new Bob the Builder series. But unfortunately, the animation became way too cartoony. But for the um. Uh, for the for the new realistic designs, the lighting went downhill. The show just the show, in my opinion, just went completely downhill. Just completely flushed down the toilet after Mega Machines. So yeah, I lost interest in the new Bob the Builder series after that, and I stopped watching it altogether because I didn't like any of the episodes after that. Because they were too cartoonish and stuff for the re for the realistic designs and the shading was gone, and they changed Bob for some reason. They changed Bob's face and made him look really, really young, almost like a baby face Bob. I just didn't like that at all. So yeah, I stopped watching the new Bob the Builder series after 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 two thousand and seventeen, and now I've lost interest in the new series completely. But I still like the original series from 1998 to 2007, and today I'm doing a VHS review from the original series. So, here's the VHS we're reviewing, Trailer Travis and Other Stories. Here's the front cover, that's the spine, here's the back. There we go, here's, there's five episodes on this VHS, it's 50 minutes long, and it Released in 1999, so not long after these episodes aired on TV. Running time of 50 minutes, as I said. Really, really excellent stuff. I cannot wait to review this with you guys. So guys, sit back, relax, go and get some snacks and a drink, perhaps. Because this video is going to be about an hour to 65 minutes in length. Yeah. Here's the tape. Very nice front cover. We've got Bob there with um, Mark looking a little bit worried for some reason. There's the Bob the Builder logo. Very nice um, 
sticker on the front here. Love that stuff. So, yep, is the front tape. This is actually the best looking tape, in my opinion, with the sticker and everything that I've that I've seen that I that I've seen in my time doing these VHS reviews. Yeah, here's the back of the tape, just like any other VHS. It, back of VHS tapes, yeah. And I shall now turn my TV on. Hang on, let me find my VHS remote. Here it is. Oh shit, did you see my face? Oh. oh dear. You may have seen my face just then, guys. I'm not really allowed to show my face. My parents don't allow me to show my face in these videos. That's why, on YouTube, that's why I never show my face. But if you caught a glimpse there, you know, I don't suppose it would matter too much. Anyway, we will now go right ahead and put the tape into the player. And now I shall fasten my camera onto the stand and we'll get straight into the review. Okay, yeah, yeah, copy my morning, blah, blah, blah. Hang on. Nearly there. And... Here we go. So this is... So it's got a couple of trailers at the beginning first. So... One for the, for this Kipper VH for some Kipper VHSs. I might review a Kipper VHS one day, but maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. Now for the next VHS review, I I had had a Brum VHS review planned. Brum is an is an amazing TV show. But unfortunately, when I went to order one, I couldn't find one, so it might be something different for the next episode. But I did have a Bob the Builder VHS review plan for episode 14, so... And this is episode 14, so yeah, I'm doing it now. Excellent stuff. Don't think I've ever heard of this show before. I haven't heard of this show before until now, but it looks really good. Ah, oh, loads of books and stuff. Bob the Builder books. Old, old Bob the Builder book. Lovely things. Oh, this is a very clever trailer for the Bob the Builder website. Very nostalgic trailer this is. Wendy says we're going surfing today. So, internet surfing, she means. Unfortunately, the Bob the Builder website nowadays is plastered with the new Bob the Builder, but I'm sure that the old Bob the Builder website looked amazing in comparison. But I don't think... But I don't... But I've seen the new Bob the Builder website and it looks awful... Com it's, it's plastered with the new Bob the Builder everywhere and I don't like it. Anyway, let's get straight into this review now. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, no we can't! <laughs> I'm sorry for saying that guys, but you're gonna have to deal with me saying no we can't instead of yes we can from throughout this VHS review because I just wanna, I just wanna say it. Every time they say yes we can, I'm going to say no, that no we can't throughout this VHS review because why not? It just adds for comedic effect. <laughs> and the show sometimes exploits that comedic trait all throughout. Throughout, it exploits that sometimes. At least in the original series, it does. Great stuff. Here we go. First episode, Trailer Travis. Now this episode is one of my favourites. It's has it's got a great story and great action, and there's a great action scene in it later on. This is without a. 
trailer Travis is without a doubt one of my favourite episodes of the entire Bob the Builder series. No, we can't! <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to do that every time they say yes, we can. Hey, Mark, what are we doing today? Well, Mark, I'll need you to help me put up a new porch at Mrs. Broadbent's house. But first, we've got to wait for Travis to come and collect this pile of hardcore. Uh, oh, here comes Spuds, the cheeky person in uh, Scarecrow in the, um, in the series. Very, very similar to Norman Price. Bud is. Oh, hi, Travis. What's the job, Bob? Well, Farmer Pickles needs his hardcore to resurface his yard, so Scoop will help you load it into the trailer. And there are some very relatable moments in this show for um for character for character for children and adults as well. See, definitely a family show. This is definitely a family show. It's got. Very relatable moments for both children and adults, and also very educational for children as well, because it, it teaches children about how builders do things. Very nice. Damn it, Scarecrow! Every, okay, every time Spud... Every, okay, every time they say yes we can, I'm gonna say no we can't. And every time Spud messes up on this VHS, I'm gonna say damn it, Scarecrow. I'm, I'm doing... I'm purely doing both of those things for comedic effect throughout this review. Now anyway, the animation in this is really, really good. I think they use plastic models for the vehicles. Clay clay models for the human characters and for all of the backgrounds and sets and stuff were mostly made out of cardboard I believe. So yeah, very low budget production but very well made. Not to brag, but us Brits do have a habit of doing that. Making 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 loads of TV shows on a shoe on a on a shoestring budget and somehow making it re look really good. That is the magic of British television, people. And I plan to do a lot of that for some of the TV shows that I've got planned, including Raptor Pups. <laughs> Except, I don't think Raptor Pups is going to have as low of a budget as Bob the Builder. The only, the only show which has a low budget and or at least looks that way and doesn't work is Peppa Pig. As you say, it's a, as I've already said, Peppa Pig is a terrible show and it was clearly made to try and cash in on the success of all of the other work, of all of the other work us Brits have produced. Unfortunately, it hasn't worked. I love the music as well. It's got great, memorable music. The theme song is one of the most memorable ever. And the incidental music is also really good. Voice act the voice acting is also brilliant. I think there are I think in the original series, at least, there were only three actors doing all of the voices. Um, so Neil Morsery voicing Bob as as the um, front as the uh, as the VHS cover says. And um, and Rob Rackstraw voices all of all the other theme, all of the other all the other male characters. And Kate Harbour does all of the female voices. What a I believe. Job. Oh dear, 
So only three actors doing all of the voices. I think for my for, for some of my shows, there's only going to be a limited number of voice oh, actors. Splendid job. Oh, oh now, wh why don't you stay for some? But tea? they're very talented, all of the voice actors. Oh, um, no, thank you, Mrs. Broadbent. I'm. Um, but, yeah, very talented, very all today. of the voice I've actors in most of the shows. Now, Wendy's getting on. Bye. Oh, bye then, Bob, and, and thank you. I believe only three people did the voices in the original series. I might be wrong. I think it might have been four. I'm not too sure. It was certainly at least four in Ready, Steady, Build, the, C the CGI spin-off series made in 2010, made from 2010 to 2012. But, um, the... But... In the original sit, but um, I, but it thinks I, but it I think it might have only been three. It was certainly at least four in Ready Steady Build, but in the original series, I think it might have been only three. Right, this is the best part of the episode coming up. Damn it, Scarecrow! Bye! <laughs> yeah, chasing it. Yeah. Loving. Loving this. How on earth is Spud steering that trailer? I guess he must he must just be holding on to it and leaning left and right, because there's nothing he can do to stop it. So um I guess I guess he's just leaning left and right to to control the trailer. Although he can't exactly control its speed, that's why he's very worried. And that's why Scoop and Travis were chasing him, obviously. Oh and and Mrs. Broadband used concrete. I don't think I, I'm not sure if you heard them say that because I was talking over. But, but Mrs. Broadband used um, concrete for the instead of pastry. I don't know if you heard because I was talking over at that point. Well done. At least Spud was actually trying to help that time. He wasn't just being mischievous. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well, no harm done, hey? Come on everyone, let's go home for lunch. Oh, did you say lunch? I'm starving. Has anyone got anything to eat? Ha <laughs> ha! How about this? It'll be lovely with a bit of custard. No, not very good. Mint. Mrs. Broadbent, I think, is not very good at cooking. I think that's a running gag. See, look, only three voice actors. I was right. Yeah, Mrs. Broadbent, I don't think, is very good at cooking. So, yeah. We don't need to see this part. We'll just skip to the next episode. Here we go, roll these tortoises, next episode. Oh yeah, another another running gag of the show is Dizzy using her headphones and sometimes she can't hear anyone when she's calling for them, but not in this episode. How on earth 
did you get here? Well, it's a good job you spotted him, Dizzy. He could have had a very nasty accident. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Tortoise. I'm sorry if I gave you a fright. <laughs> and scared personality, timid personality, is one of the is one of the is one of the most memorable aspects of the show. The all of the characters and their personalities are very very memorable, and the and the style of the show is is, is very um, good as well. Oh, God damn it! I forgot to say no. We can't. Damn it. Anyway, but, but as I was saying, the simple character designs and and the, and the characters' personalities, along with the sets and the music. So the animation, the sets, the voices, the character model, designs and models, and the music, all combine to make this a, an extremely memorable show, in my opinion at least. Oh yeah, and, and some very memorable sound effects as well. It's a... Tommy? It is, this is without Tommy? a doubt one of the most oh, memorable shows in existence. Have you lost something, Mrs. Po possibly yes, Dizzy. more memorable oh, than Thomas the Tank Engine. What uh, does it look like? Well, well a lot of, actually a lot of, a lot of British and, a, and some American TV shows are very memorable. Uh, Is he all right? Yes! All, of, all around That's amazing me. stuff. And that's why I do these VHS reviews, because these shows, because these shows are so good, they're very nostalgic, and a lot of people want, would like to re-watch these sorts of shows. So that's one of the reasons why I do this VHS review in the first place. So, yeah. So Amazing hot. stuff. Oh, come on, Lori. Keep your eyes open. Oh, dear. Ah. Why doesn't Bird just wake Roly up now that he's asleep? <coughs> oh, Pelchard. Bob's cat. Very simple design, Pelchard. I love... <laughs> and Pelchard's designs are... Character design is also very simple and memorable. And whenever Pilchard, Pilchard pounces around, um, a xylophone sound effect plays, which I really like. It's just meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Great stuff. He doesn't realise. Oh, do Bob doesn't even realise he's only the tortoise. He thinks it's one of the lettuces. Help well, <laughs> yourself to a lettuce. Nice. Thanks, Farmer Pickles. If I hear of anyone who's lost a tortoise, I'll let you know. 
to see this part, so let's skip to episode three. And this is quite a good episode as well. Last episode wasn't as good as the first, but this episode is also a very good one. One more bucket should do the trick. One bucket of plaster coming up. Uh, uh, here you are, Bob. Thanks, Lofty. The plaster's drying out nicely, but we should be able to give it a coat of paint before the end of the day. Oh, no. I left the paint and brushes back at the yard. Well, I've finished here. I'll pop back and get them. Thanks, Wendy. Can you give me a lift, Scoop? Pop on, Wendy. I'll be as quick as I can, Bob. There's no rush. The plaster will take a while to dry out properly. Oh, well, in that case, I might just pop over to Mrs. Potts. She's asked me to lay a new garden path for her. I could get started on it this afternoon. Good idea, Wendy. OK, Bob. See you later. Bye. Everywhere I go. I hope your rollers are nice and clean for Mrs. Potts. She's really fussy about her garden. There we are. That's 
the weatherproofing paint and the brushes for Bob. Right, Scoop, off you go. Bye! Okay, team, and we pave it! No, we can't! <laughs> Oh, that's not Mrs. Broadbent, that's Mrs. Potts. I'm terribly sorry. I don't know whether to have it going that terribly way. sorry for getting that wrong, guys. This way. I, I want it to be near my statues, but oh, oh dear, I, I just can't decide. Well, which Relatable prog problem that all adults oh, tend into their gardens have. See what I mean when this no. show has well, relatable well, aspects for adults as well, and it's therefore a family oh, show. Oh, this version of it at least, and maybe not the 2015 series. Yeah, this is uh, this certainly has relatable stuff for adults in it, which is why this is more of a family show than the new Bob the Builder is. around the edges and on the sides and stuff just like Rolly. <laughs> money Bob and his building team make every year from all the customers that they serve because they do a lot of jobs around Bobsville as the town is known so they must make a lot of money to keep on going they, have, they, they obviously have to pay to run their businesses and stuff so they must with, with all the jobs they do around Bobsville they must they must make loads and loads of money every year Because I can't imagine any of the Bobsville residents and do it, asking them to do the it for free. They must pay them. They must pay Bob and his building team something every time they do a job for them. Oh, it is that we have I love how Neil Morrissey is just going on the phone because there's no um, because there's no split screen to say that they're caught to show the other person on the other line that Wendy's calling. I know it's Bob, but they don't actually show it, so they just show Bob. So Neil, so Neil Morrissey, when someone's on the when he's on the phone and they're not showing him, he's just going. I love that. We'll see you two back at the yard. Is everything all right at Mrs. Potts? Yes, yes, I left Muck laying the paving stones and Dizzy keeping an eye on him. Oh, is that a good idea? Leaving those two on their own? Oh, they'll be fine. Anyway, I won't be very long. See, this message, this, this, this thing, this episode has a message for adults as well. Don't leave your children un unattended. Because essentially the machines are essentially like children some of the time. But that is a, um... But this is a, a great episode for... A, this me, this episode does have a great message for adults. Don't leave your kids unattended. It stops the rain and the damp soaking into the bricks. Ooh, Ooh very educational, Wendy, that is. I'm worried about what Muck and Dizzy might get up to on their own. Oh, it's all right, Bob. I, I told them exactly what to do. Oh, but are you sure, Wendy? Uh, oh, perhaps I better pop back and see how they're getting on. Good idea. Oh no. Oh no, Muck! Is that? What happened? I think I think though that um 
you know what? I'm not even going to say it because it's too complicated for me to explain. Uh, Could we use the broken stones to make Mrs. Potts' bar? Crazy paving. Crazy dizzy. <laughs> Sometimes you can still use it. That's another message this episode gets across, which I think is a very good message. The new position, you know, I mean, he looks more handsome than ever standing next to you. His nose is broken. And he doesn't even notice. He doesn't even notice. Such a clever idea of yours, Wendy, to use those little pieces of broken stone. Actually, Mrs. Potts, it wasn't my idea, it was Dizzy's. Oh, well, I think you're very clever, Dizzy. And no, don't thank me. That Mark gave me the idea when he talked uh, to... Uh, what Dizzy means is that they thought of it together. They're always having smashing ideas. Oh, dear, it's broken and his nose fell off. Sometimes in the series, Spud's parsnip nose falls off. And he has to get a new one. Breaks and falls... Yeah, sometimes Spud's nose breaks and falls off, and or falls off, sorry. And, and so it has to be replaced. Right, let's skip to the next episode. Oh, this is a very, very good episode. This is my second favourite. This is this is perhaps my second favourite episode on the VHS. My favourite one on this VHS. The Travis. This is a sec. This is my second favourite on this VHS. Oh, that's a bit of a problem. Great. Great stuff. People can leave their cars there and walk to the shops. Or they can get a bus into the town from there, like a park and ride car park. Hang on, Dizzy. Bob doesn't need you just yet. You can stay here and keep Lofty company. I'll give you a call later, Wendy. Scoop and Rolly, you're coming with me. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! I think so, yeah. <laughs> you go jumping all over the place. <laughs> Spot. You crows, you picked the wrong field today. It's Spud's on the job. But <laughs> you picked the wrong house, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, this is. I'm the best at everything. I'm Super Spud. Ah, ah, shoo! Ah, ah, shoo! That's a running gag for this episode. Spud can't get rid of the crow. You're a scary scarecrow, and you're a crow. You're supposed to be scared. Now, shoo! Wow, yourself! That's a funny line. Oh, morning, everyone. Everything's ready for you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bentley. Now, this is a plan of the car park layout. Oh, yes, I see. Well, that looks pretty straightforward, Mr. Bentley. What do you want on the signpost? Well, uh, what do you mean, Bob? What's the new car park going to be called? Oh, well, Don Bob, either. 
I'd forgotten all about that. It's got to have a name. Leave that to us, Mr. Bentley. I'm sure we can think of something. Thanks, Bob, but I've got to get back to the town hall now. So I'll uh, see you all later. OK, team, let's get started. And while we work, let's try and think of a name for the new car park. For a name? Like Jeremy. <laughs> That's a funny. That was, that was funny. Rory, keep thinking. <laughs> Jeremy. That's strange. I wonder what's going on. Morning, Spud. Who's your new friend? What friend? That crow. He's not my friend, and he's not a crow. He's just a very big blackbird. Oh, oh, oh. If you say so, Spud. Ah! Ah! Travis, you've got to help me. I can't scare him away. Look. Ah! Go away! Ah! Oh. oh, dear. Well, that is a pickle. It's not funny. <laughs> That's a you're a pickle. <laughs> no, I don't know why I said that. But I think similar to how I first heard the phrase "cheerio" in Post and Pads, I I think I first heard the phrase "that's a bit of a pickle" in in Bob the Builder. We're ready for dizzy now. Oh good. I'll send Mock along with the line marking machine as well. Thanks, Wendy. Oh, oh one more thing. We've got to think of a name for the new car park. I'll put my thinking cap on. Bye. Bye, Wendy. Well done, you two. You can go back to the yard now. Oh, can we call it Curbstone Car Park, Bob? Or High Hill Car Park? Oh, 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 oh no. This used to be a Waystone Car Park. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do about this bird then, Spud? Boo! No. Oh, didn't your mum and dad ever tell you to be scared of a scarecrow? <laughs> Here, Spud, let me have a go. Put your fingers in your ears. I bet. I bet. I like to think that, well, Spud, th that the crow is actually saying a lot of swear words in bird language. What do you guys think? Oh, no. fast as you can. What do you mean? We'll blow him off me. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Damn it, Scarecrow! <laughs> oh, that scared him, eh, Travis? You scared me at all, Spud. Oh dear! Is everybody all right? Oh, don't worry, Bob. Everyone's fine. Phew! That could have been a nasty accident. What a mess! Oh, Travis, there you are. I was wondering where you got to. Oh, my lovely corn on the cob. Spud, Travis, what have you been up to? It was my fault, Farmer Pickles. I kept telling Travis to go faster. There was this crow. We were going too fast. I, I only saw Buck at the last minute. What you made Travis do was very dangerous, Spud. Someone could have got hurt. Yes, Farmer Pickles. Sorry, Wendy. Sorry, everyone. Yes. Sorry, everyone. Right, young Scarecrow. You can clear up this mess. Oh, here you are, Spud. Thanks, Wendy. Come on, Buck. We've got to get on with the car park now. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but, um... Uh, uh, I thought of a name. Spud's corn on the cob car park. Oh. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> So no, 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 no. This is all that crow's fault. I agree. But Spud shouldn't have made Travis go so fast. So fast that he... That he wouldn't... Done, everybody. 
everybody. Oh, it looks great. There's only one thing missing. Oh, what's that, Wendy? Grass. I've brought some seeds <clears throat> so we can sell grass. What kind of grass do you mean? <laughs> Regular grass or the <laughs> or weed? <laughs> If you didn't know, grass is a slang word for weed. <laughs> you know, cannabis. That's a brilliant name. I really like that name. It's got a nice ring to it, don't you think, guys? Lovely name. Very, very British. That's that's what that's what a lot of a lot of British names are places are called similar names to that. Oh yes, Farmer Pickles. Right away, Farmer Pickles. Spud's on the job. Just a minute, everyone. What is it, Wendy? Can we borrow Spud for a while? Of course you can. It's the least he can do to make up for all the trouble he's caused. Oh, thank you, Farmer Pickles. But Spud's already made up for the trouble he caused. some grass seed, so we'll need a scarecrow to keep the birds off. But it is good for Spud to do that. Makes a change from standing in a field, I suppose. I wonder when the first yeah. car's going yes, to Yes, I agree. Along. Oh, for God's sake, not that bird. I agree, I, that, but that crow is very annoying. And none of it would have happened had it not been for that crow. This is just tort, that was just tort, by that point it was just torturing Spuds with that crow coming back. Yeah, it was just torturing Spud by that point. Right, last episode. Quite a good episode, this one. Hello, Wendy. Had a good day. Fine, thanks, Farmer Pickles. Oh, goodness, is it home time already? Look, we'll have to come back and finish the path first thing tomorrow. Does that mean I'm going to have to get up really early? <laughs> I'm afraid it does, Muck. Oh, no. I know, Muck. Why don't you sleep over here at the farm? Oh, yeah. That's a great idea, Travis. Can I, Wendy? Can I, please? Well, if it's all right with Farmer Pickles... Oh, yeah, of course it is. And only if you behave, Muck. He will. I will. Okay. All the characters, um, all of the characters certainly have better behaviour than Spud. Than Spud. <laughs> I agree with you. Bye, everyone. He is lucky. Lots of fun. No, Spud, don't you dare do anything. Generator attack scoop. Oh my god, Pilch right, is sitting on top. I, I love how when Pilchard um, is sitting like that, I love how she's all curled up like that when she sits like that. I, I love pictures Pilchard sitting animation C. It, look, it looks ve very cute. I don't know if cute's the right word, but I, it might be. I think there's a better word to describe how Pilchard's sitting. But either way, I love the, the Pilchard's sitting design. Are you ready for tonight's job, Bob? Yes, I think so. Ready, team? And I love Pilchard's meowing sounds that she does. I don't know... Oh, no, we can't. I love how Pilchard sort of said yes we can then as well. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Yeah, in town there's always cars and things going past and the 
street lights are on all night. Oh, I suppose you think it's very dark out here then. Oh, oh dear, Mark didn't think of that before. Mark has a fear of the dark. I think a lot of the characters have fears as well, so so Muck's afraid of the dark, and while Lofty's afraid of mice and heights. Oh no, Spud, don't you dare. Don't make me say you know what. Well, Scoop, we have to fit some safety lights inside the tunnel. Okay, Bob. But first, we'd better set up the reflective barriers while Lofty and I put the lights up so we can see what we're doing. Pilchard running around in there. I love Pilchard's meow you sounds, but what I was going to say is, it would, I don't know who does Pilchard's meowing sounds, but if it's Neil Morrissey who does Pilchard's meowing sounds, then that would be brilliant because that would be very similar to how Tom Kenny voices both Spongebob and does Jer Gary's, the snail's meowing sounds, like, um, but because remember, in the Spongebob universe, snails are... Oh, I don't know if you heard, but Travis just said purple potatoes, which I think is hilarious. Anyway... Why the hell would Travis even be having a dream about purple potatoes? That's so random, and that's what makes it funny. But anyway, as I said, um, snails are essentially the equivalent of cats in the Spongebob universe, so it would be brilliant if... Um, if Neil Morrissey was the one who did Pilchard's meowing sounds, because, as I said, that would be similar to how Tom Kenny voices both Spongebob and does all of Gary the Snail's meowing sounds. Oh, um... One of... One of Bob's hobbies is what is doing bird watching. So, um... Well... Well, nature is one of Bob's hobbies. In the show. <laughs> Definitely not scared. Definitely not scared. Oh no! It's a it's a horrible monster. I'm going back to the yard. Damn it, Scarecrow! <laughs> Oh my god! Spot is just torturing Muck now! I suppose this was sort of revenge for his torture in the previous episode. Oh my god, I love how Pilgrim's tail covers around her underside, giving the idea that, <laughs> that she wants to hide her you-know-what, even though she's female. <laughs> I think that's very funny. Sounds. Wow. And there's also some bass sound effects at that point as well. <laughs> Chasing the owl. Is, is that you, Muck? Oh. I guess that's what Spud gets for being for scaring Muck. <laughs> Monster. <laughs> he didn't even say yet. <laughs> now all we have to do is clear up and get Muck back to the farm. But Bob, I, I won't be able to sleep in the dark. Don't worry, Muck. I've got a plan. Oh, good. Is 
Good morning. No, Travis. Mock needs the lights on because he's afraid of the dark. Oh, right, old. Right, right, old. Oh, no. It's too bright. I can't sleep. Now I don't... Oh, lovely way to win this VHS. Now I don't know if those mice you're seeing now are giving off the impression that Spud, that they might frighten Spud later on, or just for like a, a cute ending to that episode. But either way, that ending works. Very nice stuff. And that was about the end of that VHS. So overall, an amazing VHS. Definitely worth buying, in my opinion. It's su it was such an enjoyable VHS. Bob the Builder in general is such an enjoyable show. The original series at least. So good, so amazing. Now this last logo that you're about to see, I never really liked. <laughs> see all those sound effects that went along with that, I never really liked that logo. Found it a bit scary, but look, that hit video logo, that looks a lot like <laughs> the Communist Party of China. I like to call that Hit Entertainment's Communist logo, because it use, uses the, commu the flag of China's <laughs> colour scheme, with the yellow stars and the red text, and that was also sort of the, co the scheme of... Uh, the colour scheme of Russia as well, you know, with the red, with the yellow hammer and sickle and the red background. So yeah, I definitely like to call that Hit, en Hit Entertainment's communist logo. <laughs> Very funny. But yeah, that logo, that logo that I never, that I never really like, sort of ruins the end of that VHS, but. In my opinion, it's still a great VHS, and definitely worth buying. Bob the Build is an amazing show, and this, this, this VHS has some great episodes on it, so I say it's definitely worth buying, that VHS. Right then. I'll now all let you hear the nostalgic sound of a VHS rewinding. I'll get that, get it going a bit, and then it rewinding a little bit more. Lovely nostalgic sound. I've got my remote here, and yeah, just waiting for it to come out again. I don't know if you heard guys, but I just farted. <laughs> and because of my OCD, I've got to rewind the tape a, li a little bit more because when my VHS player ejects the tape, there's, there's always a little bit of, of tape left on top of the right hand wheel. So I've got, because of my OCD, I need to rewind the tape again to get rid of that tape. Let me see. See that tiny bit of tape there? we got to get rid of that. So put it back in and rewind. And then play it again and rewind. And hopefully when we... Oh, Hang on, play, rewind, there we go, hopefully now that, hopefully now that tape, uh, that bit of tape on top will be gone, come on out, okay, 
Let me check to see if the tape's gone. Oh, pardon me. Sorry about that. Uh, sorry if you can hear my parents talking downstairs. Uh, I think that'll just about satisfy my high standards. <laughs> okay, we'll now put the put it away, and and now then and then I'll end the video. Uh, uh, come on. Okay, put the tape away and close it up. And that pretty much wraps up this VHS review. As I said, amazing VHS, amazing show in general, Bob the Builder. There's some great episodes on this VHS, definitely worth buying in my opinion. Yeah guys, that will conclude this VHS review. Thanks again so much for watching guys. Please like this video, comment on it, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to me, Train Lover 16 if you haven't already. So once again guys, great VHS review, definitely worth buying. Bob the Builder's a great show, and yeah, amazing, amazing show. And that's the end of this VHS review. Thanks again for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.